Hey everybody, happen to have an old laptop lying around that you've been wanting to upgrade? Well, we're gonna do that with this old compact Corsario laptop and we're gonna be putting an SSD in it. So, so uh, a lot of people tend to have old laptops lying around. Um, maybe you got a hand-me-down, something secondhand, or you're just at a thrift store, swap meet, something like that, and you happen to find a good deal for a laptop that could just be used for internet browsing or something like that while you're just kind of hanging out on the couch or the living room or just as an extra computer. Well, uh, a lot of the times with those oldies is the hard drives really hold them back from their full potential, which wasn't a big deal back in those days, but with the advent of SSDs, there's, a lot, there's another way to get more speed out of that. So with that said, this compact Presario laptop ha came with a, uh, I believe an 80 gigabyte, 5400 RPM, two and a half inch drive. We're gonna be installing this Corsair Force LS 60 gigabyte SSD, and this should give it a lot more speed. And uh, as far as the RAM goes on this, it has two gigs of DDR2. Two gigs, while isn't the greatest, it's also not the most terrible amount of memory. I don't have any extra, uh, uh, DDR2 laptop memory line around so 2 gigs is what we're gonna go with. I'm gonna be throwing Windows 10 on this bad boy and uh, let's see what we can do with it. Okay, so I've got Windows 10 booting up off of a flash drive, and we're gonna go ahead and get that process started right now. All right, just waiting for the product key activation to, to go. Sometimes it takes a while. I know it keeps you on edge until it goes through but uh it is what it is so the process has started everything is going to get installed and uh we'll be right back <laughs> 12 seconds later windows 10 is now installed and the computer is running pretty good actually i'm kind of surprised and I, I know that with the old spinner in there that thing would be crawling right now especially that it only uses a 1.5 gigahertz seller on m but uh Right now it's getting the job done, so I guess uh, I guess we'll see what happens with it from here on out. Yeah, so definitely if you have an old laptop lying around, a 60 gig to 120 gig SSDs don't really cost that much money nowadays. So if you're on the fence about upgrading it, definitely go for it. Make sure you got enough RAM, at least two gigs, two to four gigs for your average use and more if you can. But if you can't afford any more than that, two to four gigs should be great. Four gigs is a sweet spot right now, so definitely aim for that. But if you can't, two gigs at the very minimum. And uh, go for whatever SSD that has good ratings. Personally, I like Crucial, SanDisk, Samsung, of course. Uh, Corsair's not bad, Mushkin's not bad. Uh, there's a handful of them out there. I've even used an SP Power one. Uh, it, just because it was affordable in a different laptop and uh, although it's not really much of a name brand it working out pretty good so far so hey why not if it works it works check on reviews on whatever you're looking at and if you have any questions feel free to drop me a comment and we can talk anyways this is Chris with Coalition Gaming 
and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Thank you.